this video's purpose. If everything works out with the um, starter change I did and the ATI, but regardless, uh, I'm going to, how do they say, I'm going to walk with this. Every time I drive my car, I'm going to leave this in the trunk. Spare uh, ATI cap rotor and the Hypertech 56,000 volt coil for the ATI. I haven't uh, made an attempt to start the motor or anything. I'm going to do it right now and see what happens. The battery is charged to 13.5 volts with the Optimo battery charger. I just put this battery in maybe six minutes ago. Put everything back, tighten everything up, this, that, the other. So we're going to start the motor. That's the electric vacuum pump. I don't even use this radio, honest to God. Fuel. I'm gonna give it three, three pats of the accelerator. And then I'm gonna start the motor. My lips are frozen. Mm. Still something with the distributor. Did you see the tack? Hmm. Yeah. The start is good. Uh, something with the distributor. Not sure as to what it is, but uh, when I see the tack doing that, I know it's a distributor because that's what happened the last time. <clears throat> All my contacts are correct and good. I'm going to give it another attempt and resume with my day. I have moves to make. Dun, da, 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 da. Plans are, if it doesn't start, when I get back later today, if it's not too cold, I'm going to take out the um, TA Performance uh, ATI coil that came with that distributor, that build it distributor, and I'm going to uh, put the 56,000 volt uh, Hypertech coil in and see if the car starts. And I'm going to also inspect the uh, rotor when I get back, even though the car never haven't started since I um, added a new rotor. Oh, okay. That's it for now because I got to resume my day. Peace and love. I'll get back to this when I come back.